adopted not liking baseball. That's too bad. But I do love some Smashy Bros. Yes, and we get to see the return of Dev going up against Rob now. So we saw Dev earlier rocking the Mario, uh, had that win over Prod uh, on stream, going up against the, that Mario Pichu matchup. Now, quite a different one, going up against Snake. We have seen a little bit of Snake earlier, but these two will definitely put on a show for us. Right now, it's the Rob show, 79% and unanswered. Yeah, I think the best situation for Dev is getting Rob off stage and trying to get a, a gimp on Snake, but it just seems like Rob is doing a great job of playing defensively on stage, like we saw earlier with the uh, the other Snake as well, just able to use those grenades to stuff out approaches, able to get that up tilt for the punish, and already killing it 121. Rob with a huge lead here. That's just about as early as that up tilt's gonna get a KO. Dev finally got that Snake into the corner, like you said. Probably a good place to put him, but... Yeah, you see, like, not fishing for a ton of, like, grabs or a ton of throws just yet. Because, honestly, like, unless you're going to be looking for it for a kill confirm, you're generally not going to get too much damage out of it. But if you get your kill confirm out of it, everything's going to turn up just fine. So Dev evening that game right back up and just the way that you cooked it up. Yeah, Rob shaking that one off. It's going to be a lot easier for Rob to stack up a lot of percent, especially being able to use the grenade, like in situations like that, where you are getting comboed and then the frame one grenade will help get you out of that situation. You're also able to just throw them and you have that projectile, but it seems like Dev's using a lot of fireball as well to kind of use it in the same way. Grenade's going to be a much better tool for Snake, but um, yeah, Rob definitely shaking that one off. It was a great situation for Devin. He did a great job of capitalizing off of it, but now he's going to have to deal with recovering against this Nikita instead. Went into the raw Nikita too, right? Didn't, you know, toss down a grenade or a C4, mortar, or anything. Just immediately went into that Nikita to try to see if, you know, kind of heat check him, right? And say, Dev, are you ready to react to this? And he was. Did make it back to stage. Gives him another fighting chance. We're sitting right about at those percents where if you get comboed onto the platform, it can be oh so dangerous. And Dev finding it twice in these first two stocks, taking that snake off the top. Ooh. That is why PS2 is a great stage for Mario. Okay, Cypher coming in clutch there, making it a lot easier for Rob to get back to stage, but I really like that aggressive play there from Dev, trying to take out this third stock super early. Okay, I also really like that we're seeing a lot of roll reads from Rob. I feel like a lot of the time he's running right past Dev, trying to catch a, a panic roll as Snake is approaching. Hasn't been able to find a kill off of it yet, but fit, sitting at 157, just has to find an up tilt or a very near, near getting that like down throw percent as well. Good recognition there from Dev though. Could have had a big setup with the down tilt, recognized that he picked up the grenades, so decided to abort the combo. But not being able to take him off the top, Rob does get that stock, brings it down to one apiece here in this game one, and it is right back to sit on this platform, start pulling out the explosives, do not engage with that Mario, because if he gets a big opening, it can be trouble. Great, nice up smash on the call out on that dash attack. Dash attack, great option for Rob, but if he's using it a little bit too much, especially at these higher percents, it can be a great opportunity for Dev to get that up smash call out for the stock. Rob needs to be careful sitting around this platform. That C4 has been sitting there for a minute, and that could auto-detonate it just about any Ooh. moment. <laughs> and there it goes indeed. Nothing happens off of it, but now both of these players sitting near kill percents. We already know that up tilt is close, but up smash even closer. Catching that commit with the forward tilt on the shield. Dev, a couple of explosive stocks. Is able to take that game number one solidly. That was insane because it looked like Rob was just running away with it, but then able to capitalize off of that one opening on that platform and just getting a stock off of it. Really consistent with those up air ladders and it's definitely paying off, especially with Snake being a character that really struggles in that disadvantage. He does have the grenade pool, but if you're keeping your combos super tight, then not even something that's gonna come into play. All right, yeah, in game number two, it's gonna be even more important to make sure that your disadvantage is on point because well, Mario does get those combos off the top easier on PS2 with that uh, the platform heights and all being a little bit more conducive to getting those combos to push you into the blast zone. He's going to be able to bounce around between these platforms a lot easier, continue those juggles. You're seeing Dev trying to do that, but some great movement from Rob. You were mentioning that disadvantage needs to be on point. Some of those wave bounces and the B reverses on those grenade pulls really doing a good job of bailing them out. Nearly getting the combo off of that grenade as well. Yeah, it goes for the short hop. Probably would have worked off of a full hop, but really like that recognition there regardless. Goes for the, uh, the F tilt one on shield multiple times as well. 
Uh, I really like that. It's a really good check that you see a lot too, where he might try to catch the roll read off of it and get the up tilt sitting at 100% here, so you do have to be careful. But I do like the way that we're seeing a lot of fireballs off the platform too, to um, kind of stuff out a lot of Rob's approaches. Nikita off stage, but able to use the up to just armor right through it. Ooh, Ooh, two parries, down air out of shield. It's not quite going to be enough, so Dev, well, could have made that back, but didn't realize that the jump was gone, evidently. So Rob will get a slight gift right there to stay in this one, playing with the lead in a very crucial game, too, because it's win this one or go to the loser's bracket. Very clutch angle on that uh, cape as well for Rob, sending him back on stage. Able to get a lot of damage here. Trades there, but still sending Dev off stage. Good opportunity for a ledge trap. Able to turn around with that F tilt. And now, very large lead here for Rob. Have to be careful about this up tilt, but playing super patient here on the platform, using a lot of that fireball again. Able to get the up smash. Tries to get that up air, or the, uh, the down air, and we saw that it was super clutch in the set that Dev had played earlier, controlling a lot of space in the air, but it seems like Rob's just super comfortable playing on the ground. I mean, just controlling the game, mostly, right, is that it's not even about, like, making big plays or getting away from the Mario. It's just setting up shop on a part of the stage and saying, this belongs to me. And if you want to hit me, you need to be as precise as can be. You need to be an engineer. Ooh. No stick on the C4, and not that it'll matter. Dev takes him off the top with that down air, so he's able to get one on the board here. But yeah, breaking through that snake wall here on Small Battlefield, counterpick seems to be working out really well, because it's been tough for Dev to get in. Seeing a lot of down tilt from Rob as well. Really good opener and combo starter for him, but also just a great way to stuff out a lot of like the landing aerials that we see Dev using for um, combo opportunities. A lot of the time it's down air, which works, but it's also super clutch because of the multi hits on it, trying to catch Rob dropping shield, and it has worked multiple times, especially on the platforms. Ooh. Love that. The slight reposition from Rob, realizing if this Mario Fultress him with an aerial, he's going to go past me. I don't have time to turn around while low profiling him, so I'm just going to pull back a little bit, crawl on the ground, and then immediately go into that launcher, bringing us to game number three. And I heard on that ban list, Hollow Bastion. So we're back to small battlefield for game number three. Okay, I am a PS2-er. I'll go to PS2 anytime anybody asks me, but Ooh. I love Small Battlefield because you get to pick the music. And it's it not just Pokemon music. I prefer it. But of all songs to get, why this one? Oh, wait. He, uh, 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 Smash Ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> I left my do you Switch like on the way, game or not? I do, but I've left my Switch on way too long to like hear the song repeating over and over again on the home screen. I'm good. Give I, me some like Donkey Kong Country or something. I think it's really funny how since the game launched, I don't really think anybody's like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if anybody did, it only lasted a couple months before people were like, can we bring back da -na -na -na, da -na -na? <laughs> <laughs> My ex had it on his Spotify playlist, so oh I guess gosh. some people do like it, but not the majority. I can see why you broke up. <laughs> yeah, ex okay. for a reason. <laughs> All right, struggling to make it back to the result. ledge. Okay, but able to use the up B there, setting a pretty even percent so far. Okay, able to get that read on the roll with the F tilt. Oh, and that fireball coming in clutch, Ooh. stopping that Nikita. Yeah, ideally on these situations, you'd like to be able to do a quick turnaround into an up tilt, but forward tilt directly the other way is going to be a lot easier. You're not going to get the KO out of it, but at this point, you don't need to. One grab is all you need. A down throw on Mario means that you are guaranteed an up tilt, and that is exactly what Rob will find there on that overcommitted aerial. So Rob, as the snake on small battlefield, we've established that is a really big boon to have. But Dev has an opportunity to keep this juggle going into a stock so long as he keeps the snake up there, but grenades do get Rob back down. It seems like Rob's kind of building the uh, the Steve wall that we see all the time, putting mm -hmm. a grenade on the ground, putting a grenade on the platform, and then sitting there behind it, underneath the platform. It's going to be very hard to, uh, to get in against that without getting blown up. The creeper wall. The creeper wall. <laughs> Hit this and see what happens. <laughs> Hey, though, Dev flying in. Did catch that grenade, repositioned it, but now getting repositioned courtesy of those grenades. Rob pushing this Mario right back into the corner, getting some free oh. damage, and caught him landing on the platform. Dev was not ready for the combo interruption. Meanwhile, Rob reacting in time, and again, playing with a three stock to one lead, which quickly melts down to two to one. But 
This is going to be tough if Dev does not find a big combo in quick. Okay, seeing a back throw off stage here. Love the use of Flood to push him a little bit farther, uh, farther, making it harder to get back to stage. Okay. The platform grenade is so crucial because it also stuffs out um, approaches on the ground because it still catches them running underneath it. So mm -hmm. definitely I love that strategy from Rob. And this is why Small Battlefield is a great stage for Snake, right? And we're seeing it, is that it is sort of a keep away game, but it's not based on distance. It's based on I'm tearing down my house and then I'm building up a new one. Mm -hmm. And then by the time that you're at my front door, I'm running out the front door <laughs> and I'm tearing down the house and then I'm putting up a new one. And you better be ready to knock or get in. I'm not going to be polite about it, right? You got to get in and you got to get in quick. And for Dev, holding extra true, nearing some kill percents right now. And just the raw up tilt, the read on the approach is enough to do it. Yeah, it was very consistent with that. Um, catches a lot of landings on the platforms with it as well. Just really good stuff there to Rob, especially after that game one. It seemed like he had a great lead that game one and then was uh, able to lose that game just off of Dev's combo potential. So really good job, like slowing things down, building that that house that you're talking about, making it very hard for Dev to find that one opportunity on the platform again, because when he did, he never missed those those kill chances. So really good stuff to both players, but Rob gonna come through with a 2-1. I'm thinking about the, the building down the house and tearing it up, uh, or tearing down the house and building it up very quickly. I'm thinking about those, uh, those Lego ads where they're like, build the helicopter. And then it's just <laughs> like, and then there's a helicopter in front yep. of you. And it's like the same thing with Snake. It's like, Build an explosive house. Do, 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 do. I'm thinking like Fortnite is what I'm imagining. Oh, that's <laughs> you know that's more Prussian. That would that would be the For top the answer on the Family there. Feud fast money. I'm talking. I'm old. I'm talking about Legos. You got all like the 25 